Some individuals wrongly believe that rabbits are dull pets. After the novelty of newborn bunnies wears off, some people become bored since they cannot be played with in the same way that dogs can. Rabbits, on the other hand, have a playful side. Many of the toys that rabbits play with, however, are difficult to make interactive. You may provide your rabbits with a variety of fun chewing and digging toys, and you can even make some DIY toys for your rabbit, but there are times when you want to play with your rabbit as well. Rabbits enjoy playing games with people that appeal to their mischievous side and give them a chance to get treats. Games such as Reverse Fetch and Tug O' War, among others, give you ways to interact with your rabbit while also giving your rabbit a chance to have a lot of fun. Playing games and interacting with your rabbit is a great way to deepen the bond that the two of you share. You'll gain more insight into your rabbit's personality and they will slowly start to trust you more and more. Play is also a great way to encourage exercise and maintain their health. Before we get into what games and activities you can play with your rabbit, it's important to have a basic understanding of how rabbits interact with people. Since rabbits are prey animals, they have very different mannerisms than cats or dogs, whose play activities often stem from their hunting instincts. Rabbits are social creatures who do enjoy playing with their human companions, but you need to be creative and flexible in the ways you interact. Always make sure you respect your rabbit and its personal boundaries. It's also important to remember that not all rabbits will like every way of playing. Try out some different games in different ways of interacting with your rabbit to see which ones they like best. Think about the rabbit's perspective. Rabbits have the instincts to chew, dig, and forage. Knowing these behaviors, we can play games that allow your rabbit to use these natural instincts in a fun and creative ways. Domestic rabbits also come from a species that are burrowers, digging networks of tunnels. We can create fun games for rabbits by finding ways to let them explore in areas underneath and inside boxes and furniture. You also have to remember that rabbits might see us in big, threatening predators unless we give them a reason to think otherwise. To gain their trust and make them want to play with you more, try to avoid making your rabbit feel scared or trapped. Don't corner your rabbit, and try not to scare them with loud noises. Most rabbits also hate to be picked up, since this makes them feel trapped in your arms. It's best to only hold your rabbit occasionally and make sure to leave it out of playtime entirely. Stay on your rabbit's level. Rabbits will feel more comfortable with people when we are not towering over them. It's best to sit down on the floor to interact with your rabbit. As your rabbit becomes more comfortable with you, they'll be more willing to play when you are standing. Even then, it's always easier when you're down on your rabbit's level. If you have trouble sitting on the floor, you can also set up a step stool or short cat tower to encourage your rabbit to hop up onto a couch so you can play on a surface that is more comfortable for you. Don't force your rabbit. If your rabbit doesn't want to play or decides they are done after only a few minutes, it is very important that you respect your rabbit and let them leave to do their own thing. Forcing a rabbit to interact with you can make them scared or resentful toward you. It will not result in the fun play time that you're going for. Try again a little later or find a different activity that would be more interesting for your rabbit. You may also have to spend some time gently bonding with your rabbit and gaining their trust before they are willing to play with you. Pay attention to the time of day. Rabbits are most active and ready for play in the morning or evening hours. This is because they are crepuscular animals, who naturally sleep in the middle of the day and the middle of the night but are active around dawn and dusk. If your rabbit doesn't seem to want to play in the afternoon, try again a little later, when they'll likely be more awake and active. Play with your rabbit frequently. The more you interact and play with your rabbit, the more they'll trust you and be willing to play more. You'll get the best results if you can make playtime part of your rabbit's daily routine. If your rabbit knows it's time to play at 5 p.m. every day, they'll begin to automatically get excited and playful during this time. Even if you can't schedule a formal playtime every single day, the more frequently you do it, the more your rabbit will respond and enjoy spending time with you. Use small pieces of treats. In many of the games and activities you can play with rabbits, you can give them treats to reward their curiosity. However, you want to avoid giving your rabbit too many treats because that can lead to an imbalanced digestive system. Cut your treats into small, bite-sized pieces so that you can play lots of games without the worry of your rabbit filling up on sweet treats. Reverse Fetch Rabbits like to pick up and toss around objects with their teeth. If you give them a ball with tooth holds, such as a willow ball, they'll have fun picking it up and tossing it away. Other objects, including plastic bottle caps, toilet paper tubes, small wooden blocks, stacking cups, and many other similar toys are a lot of fun for rabbits. You can turn this habit into a game by fetching the toy back for your rabbit. You're the dog in this game of reverse fetch. Give your rabbit one of these toys, they'll toss it away, then immediately put the toy back in front of your rabbit. 
it's entertaining to watch as your rabbit continues to toss the toy away, and most rabbits have a lot of fun engaging in this interactive behavior. Tug of War If you have a rabbit who really likes to chew on cardboard, you can play a simple tug of war with them. My old rabbit, Tenshi, liked to do this. She would become obsessed with chewing and digging on a specific piece of cardboard, so if I pretended to take it away from her, she'd grab on and pull. We would have a playful tug of war while she tried to get the cardboard back for me. Make sure you're careful when playing tug of war with your rabbit. You don't want to pull so hard that your rabbit's teeth get damaged. Instead, it's best to just hold on to the piece of cardboard and pull on it very gently. If your rabbit gets the cardboard away from you because your grip isn't tight, you can just pick it up again. Share a treat. Rabbits love sweet fruit and vegetables as treats so much that they'll try to steal it right out of your hand. Next time you're munching on an apple, hold it down in a way your rabbit can take a bite out of it. Hold on tight though, because your rabbit will try to steal it right out of your hand. You can take a couple of bites, then let your rabbit take a bite, as you race to finish the apple before your rabbit steals it. Of course, you want to make sure you pay attention and don't let your rabbit eat too much of the fruit. You can keep it out of their reach sometimes to prevent overindulgence. Pet your rabbit. Interacting and playing with your rabbit can be something as simple as petting them when they come up to you. This is a way to interact with the more relaxed and elderly rabbits out there. So they don't have to be too active when all they want to do is chill next to you. If you want to turn this into a simple game, you can teach your rabbit how to ask to be petted. When your rabbit comes up to you, wait for them to nudge your hand, then pet them for a bit. After a while, stop and put your hand down to wait for your rabbit to nudge it again. If your rabbit likes to groom you, try to take it a step further. Pet your rabbit, then put your hand down in a place where your rabbit can reach it. Wait for your rabbit to lick you, and then pet them again. Continue to trade off like this until your rabbit decides to stop, which can take a while. Train your rabbit. Training your rabbit is a great way to bond with them and promote the play. It's also a form of mental enrichment that keeps your curious rabbit from getting bored. You can train your rabbit to do simple tricks, such as spinning in a circle or getting up on your lap. You can even train your rabbit to do complicated agility courses, so they can jump over hurdles and run through tunnels on command. You can also teach your rabbit to hop into your lap or come to you when you call their name. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.